Blog sites are used to post information for educational purposes or to share ideas with other people. Blog posts usually consist of frequent short postings related to a particular subject and are typically displayed in reverse chronological order so the newest entries display at the top. Blogs encourage site visitors to interact with one another by leaving comments on posts. Blogs can also be used as a team communication tool. It becomes a central location for discussion around a specific subject, such as a project or process, so progress can easily be followed by all team members. In this example, the SharePoint team in the IT department has created a blog site where they will post SharePoint tips and tricks for their employees. A link to the blog site has been added as a tab in the top navigation. All posts begin with the title. Below the title, you can see who added the post and when. If categories were defined for the blog, you will also see what category the post relates to. Below a posting, there is an icon to email the post to someone. The comments link displays how many comments have been submitted to the post. Click on comments to view existing comments, or to add your own comment filling in a title and entering your comment in the body text field provided. Then click the Submit Comment button at the bottom. To navigate through blog posts, you can scroll down to view all of the posts. You can also use the blog navigator on the left side of the screen to view subsets of blogs. Under Categories, click a category to see all entries related to that category. So for the advanced category, it finds one blog post. This will only display the titles of those related posts. Click on the title to view the entire post. If you are a site owner or administrator, you can also add new categories for blog posts. Under Archives, click on a month to view all posts that were added that specific month. And as you saw with categories, you can click on a title to display the entire post. On the right side are links to blog tools. The first link is to create a new post. Start with entering a title, which is a required field as indicated by the red asterisk. Next, fill in the body field with the information to be posted. Notice when I click in the body field, the format text ribbon becomes available, allowing me to enhance the text with various format options. When I click on the Insert tab, notice I have buttons to insert a table, picture, link, or even an upload a file into this post. So I'll enter my text for this blog post. In the Categories section in the left, below the posting text is a list of categories to select from. I can select one or more categories that relate to this posting. This posting relates to the beginning level. So I'll click on Beginning and then click on Add to add that category to the box on the right. Down in the Publish section, it's showing me the date and time this is going to be saved or published. Notice I am logged in as the user Sandra Mills, who is not a site owner. This is why the only button available is to Save as Draft. If I was logged in as a site owner, I would also have a Publish button. As the message indicates at the top of this form, this post will not appear in a public view until someone with the appropriate rights approves it. So down at the bottom, I'll click on Save as Draft. And when I navigate to the full blog, you'll notice my alerts posting is not visible. Under Blog Tools on the right, I can click on Manage Posts. And this displays a list of all posts in the blog. This shows me who created each post, when they were created or last published, how many comments a post has, and what the approval status is. Notice the one I just created is pending approval. So now I will log in as a site owner. So now I'm logged in as Leslie, who is a site owner. And from this posting list, I can approve this alerts posting. So I click on the edit button. This opened the post for me to review. And to approve it, I can either click the Publish button on the ribbon at the top or at the bottom. And now the status of this posting has changed to Approved.
when I return to the blog, the new alerts posting by Sandra Mills is displayed at the top. Other blog tools you have available on the right are Manage Comments, which lets you view all comments for all posts. Launch Blog Program to Post. This will launch a blog publishing program compatible with SharePoint, such as Microsoft Word. You will be provided with a blog template that enables you to create and publish blogs from Word to a SharePoint blog site. In the Links section, a link to Photos, which is a picture library, is already created for you where you can upload related images. You can also add your own links to other related sites or blogs by clicking on Add New Link.